Uh, so Ryan, tell us what we're doing today. We're uh, making more loops. More BPMs, more, more BPMs. loops. More BPMs. You know, everybody brings kind of a special flavor to the, to the table and uh, just going to let Simon do his thing. And, okay. And, and um, I totally, I, I clicked it out, but I, I don't know what that is. That's right. Let Folks me, at uh, home, get on the chat and tell me, what is that right there, roughly around? I'm guessing 80. Yeah, I'm, I'm figuring in the high 80s, low high. 90s. Ooh. 80. 80. Is it 80? Yeah. Let's try 80. 85. 85. 85. Okay. Split the difference. All right, guys, we are live and we're about ready to rock and roll. I'm changing the click right now to 85 BPM. I'm going to roll it really quickly just so you can hear it. And then I'll roll back and I'll let you know when we're rolling and you just go for it. Okay, so just a test to listen to the click. Fantastic. All right, we are now rolling whenever you're ready. in my head phone make sense no. to me because let me double check something let me just double check my outputs we could actually have the click rocking and rolling out of another output which we should not because they are all deselected on the outputs and nothing's cruising through the two track so I just looked at the outputs and I'm not seeing anything happening Charlie but I'm not saying it's not happening you just could be lucky in a really bad way. Well, I mean, I'm happy if it's going to be in there, I need it in there, like not just a little bit, you know. Okay, well, let so me crank it up real quick. Let me get rid of this uh, pass that we did. Hang on one second. So I'm going to select all of these tracks. Is it not loud enough? And I'm going to group them together, and I'll go into this little deal here, and I'll do a new layer. I have it, but it was and I think we should go back up to 85 BPM where we were. I'll save that. And... All right, Charlie, I'm going to uh, play it back for you, and I'm just going to put some in and let me know if that's enough or too much or whatever. Okay. A little more. Great. Thank you. Okay, and Simon, you have plenty? A little more. A little bit more? Okay. Try that. Yeah. All right, let's, try, let's give this a shot, and uh, let's see if we can rock this. Hey, here we go, and we are rolling.
you like. All right, so we're at 105 BPM and you've got the click and here we go. Charlie, I'm just gonna pull up the kick and the snare in your mix real quick. Okay. More kick, more snare. You got a click? And Simon, Simon does not have a click. I'm not playing here, how about now? And I have right. it too. And you have it too, and I'm I'm cranking up a little bit of overheads, cranking up a little bit of um, a little bit of the rooms for you, so you Play should get a little bit more Simon and less. Great. Cool. All right, we are rolling, guys. Whenever you are ready.
All right, thanks, awesome, fellas. Guys. Getting stanky. All right. You know what? Could you bring the drums down in my headphones a little bit? You know, I can. I got all these knobs in here. They do something. Uh, I just bring it back to where it was because that actually was perfect. And now the, the bass drum was a little loud. You got it. I liked it. Simon wasn't a little loud. It just was loud in my headphones. <laughs> Try that. Simon, can you play a little bit and make sure we're good? Yeah. It's about the same, actually. And the snare drum is, could come down a little bit, too. Thank you. You got it. You got it. All right, so I'm going to switch over to the next song. And uh, I'm going to do a real quick run through of what we got set up here for the folks just tuning in. And then we'll go with the next BPMs. Yeah, we're going to crank it up. Crank. Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> so stand by just for a second, fellas. All right. So what are you thinking on the BPMs? Let's just keep going up in 20s. Uh, okay. 125. Okay. So I'll do that, and I'm going to put that in the Magic Justin folder under the Charlie Luke Law folder. And we'll use the appropriate dealio there, and 125. So I'm using a template. Uh, I, I keep kind of driving this home, and I've said this like a thousand times uh, uh, over the course of yesterday and today. Um, it is going to, especially when you're doing something like this, you just kind of got to keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, and then once you've set it up, there's no reason for you to have to populate all your tracks again and then label everything. Just so create a template and just kind of rock and roll. Templates are your best friend. Oh, very much so. And in addition to that, if you'll notice here in the computer, I have all three songs we've recorded thus far still open. They're I, running I believe Studio background. One is the only software. It's the only software that does that. Um, so we have that. And just really quickly, if you're just tuning in, you didn't get to uh, catch yesterday, uh, we have everything mic'd in there. Um, uh, Charlie actually plays a, a bass and guitar thing that's the same thing. So th there's an output for bass and output for guitar. The guitars are in an ISO, so there's a cabinet in an ISO booth, being mic'd by a 57 and a 4050. Uh, the bass is direct through an ADL, and all the drums are going through ADL 700s and ADL 600s. Um, I'll post a picture of that. In yeah, the <laughs> Rack of Doom. Uh, that, in turn, goes into line levels on the Studio Live 32 we use as our control center here in uh, the... Persona Studios. I make my headphone mixes locally on the inputs here, and that goes out analog through our um, um, through our different uh, uh, patch uh, bays and uh, Jack Fields uh, patch panels is the word that I'm looking for. Um, and then the guys have HP uh, fours and some uh, headphones so they can hear what's happening. Click is being fed back from Studio One as we go. Um, and I think that's kind of the gist of it. If you have any specific questions, just throw them in the chat. They will Skype them to me or uh, email us at education at personas.com. Uh, guys, we're going up to 125 BPM. What are you trying to do, <laughs> kill us? We need you to break a sweat. <laughs> so uh, here's click. Or not, hang tight. Mm -hmm. I forgot that the template is set Before we... for 30 and not 29. We changed it to see yeah, if that would help, and it did not help. But Let's try that again. You all got that in there okay? Yeah. All right, and we're rolling whenever you're ready to rock and roll.
Very, very, very cool. Very cool. Hey, uh, you guys, you want to come in and take a break for a second? We'll talk to the people. Uh, grab, make sure you grab your wireless mics in, on the way in. Um, so we're going to bring these crazy folks into the control room. And uh, I'm going to, I'm actually going to do what the camera people told me to do. And move over here. On your mark. This is my mark, I believe. This is my mark. Um, so while the guys are coming in, I wanna. There's a question out on the wire. Yes. Um, are we using a certain layout preset in Studio One? Did you just make a custom adjustment? Looks good. No, uh, I, he said looks good. He says no, it's silly, but having the doll look inviting actually makes a difference. And I completely, completely agree. Um, we we set it up that way. There there's there you could we could create templates and then mail them out or whatever. Yeah. Well, let me make sure you guys get hooked up. No I juice. Fine. No I juice. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Hold on. I'm you press and hold. There's no yeah. no water for you. We took we took it all away. Thumbs up. Yeah, we took it all away. Okay, it's on. Whenever you're ready, uh, okay. there's some. Let me go grab you some water. Oh, okay. You. Uh, I would love I'm gonna. Some too, I'm gonna. Uh, please, do you think you can kind of keep this going while I go yeah, grab some water? Yeah. Maybe you guys want to talk about how you guys. Excuse me. Your history together. Yes. Maybe? Like what you've done. Sure. Well, we met at a, uh, a yeah, y'all. You guys sit down. Yeah. Sit down. <laughs> sit down and relax. Sit down. <laughs> we met at the Grimace family reunion. Simon was hogging all of the devil. But we went to the same Mumu shop, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, these people are serious now. <laughs> the cameraman's laughing though. <laughs> Hello people. So you guys have toured though, right? Together? Like a lot. Group? Yes. Yeah. yeah. A group. lot. His oh, group, yeah. Thank you so much. I spit in that one. That's good. Hey, well, we had a. Uh, ever recorded together? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. An album called Mystico. Mystico. And, uh, All right. That's a great record. Eric Deutsch on keyboards. Oh, okay. It was uh, that was your first venture into the venture. Category. Other other chord yeah other yeah, chord, yeah, chordal instruments, chordal instruments yeah, in the yeah, band. No, it's true. Other than T J Kirk, I guess. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Man, no, that was that was really we had a really good time. We did. Year. Yeah. Well, what year was that? How long? Five oh, years. Wow. So that was, uh, years ago, yeah, that was like 2005, 2007. It was right after, because you had not Right been after in New Katrina, York yeah. 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 yeah so after, you left town after Katrina and went up yeah, to New York. Yeah, yeah. I had started playing with a vibraphone player up there named Tim Collins, mm -hmm. who we actually yeah. ended up recording with as well, with Charlie just on bass on that yeah. one. That oh. was a cool that was fun, project. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, so the storm happened, and uh, I was getting some work up there, and I said, "Oh, this might as well." Now you're back. See what in happens. New yeah, and then I moved back to New Orleans. Simon has a great my story. My story to tell Simon is great. It's just like, well, Simon went to New York, and he got all the gigs everyone wants, and realized that he hated New York. And moved back to New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Because that's when I, people ask me always, you know, like, well, should I move to New York? And right. It's like, well. No. Are you a millionaire? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Are you a millionaire? Yeah. Right. You know, do you mind killing five people to uh, get a million dollars? <laughs> right. Uh, no, move to New York. Absolutely. <laughs> right. If human life has no meaning to you and you'll do anything to make a million dollars, and it's exactly the place you should be. <laughs> right. Don't try this at home. I live, yeah, exactly. I live don't in try New this Jersey, everybody, so don't uh, take me too river, seriously. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know you, you may have mentioned this while I was out. Uh, where did you guys record that record? Andy? Andy Andy G. I don't remember his last name. Was it was he a place uh, Bedford. Austrian guy? No, he was Italian. Italian, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And um, way out in Brooklyn. Not way out. I mean, he oh. was in Williamsburg, but it was oh. the, 10 years. Billberg. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Is he still yeah. running that? I don't know. I don't know. He had that great guitar amp. Yes, it, it was, was Buddy, Buddy Guy. Rich, Buddy Guy. Buddy yeah. Rich. Yeah. 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 Two bones tonight. Two yeah, bones. Yeah. No, it, it was yeah, it was it was Buddy Guy's uh, that thing original fifty nine basement. That amp was incredible. Yeah, it was as tall as as we are. It was wow. amazing. It was no, huge. It's it's not right. an amp that you would want to travel anywhere. Yeah. 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 But it was amazing. It had like more cigarette burns on it than it did fabric, you know. Right. It did upholstery. Yeah. It's part of the sound. It was, it, oh, it was yeah. incredible. It had a great yeah. sound, yeah. So you, we talked about this yesterday, but you are going to be up in the New England area yeah. in a couple of days. 
Well, I'm going to be in Rochester and um, uh, like Hartford area of Connecticut and then Sellersville, Pennsylvania, and then uh, Milheim, Pennsylvania, a place called Elk Creek Cafe with this group I have with Bobby Previtt. And um, it's usually Curtis Folks on trombone, but this guy Kirk Kanufke mm -hmm. is playing cornet. Cool. Right. That's awesome. That's, yeah. that's real cool. And Simon, you are yes. around. Where can uh, folks go around and catch uh, you, well, wherever? Tomorrow, I'm at, right? I'm, yeah, I'm the, tomorrow I'll be here oh, yeah, doing that's my not solo yet. thing. And then uh, I play every Wednesday at Bacchanal with Jesse Morrow's band. Okay. He's a bass player. It's usually a saxophone, bass, drums. And we do his tunes, which are sort of uh, like a mixtape kind of thing where we lay into a groove and then maybe we go free for... 10 seconds and then go into the next groove so that's a fun project uh do a burlesque show on fridays playing drums you plague that. thank god oh, i yeah, thought you yeah. were actually doing oh, the burlesque I'm, you know if, if, it if was, they need someone it, yeah i'll go you'll there. sit in you know I gotcha. yeah yeah i'll do it in shape oh yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that'd be fun why not that's cool yeah that's really and cool. uh jermaine basil is this great singer she's about 82 oh, years yeah. old been oh, playing cool. with her on the regular oh, fantastic. christina morales really young uh up and coming kind of r&b jazz etc singer yeah. and uh run my home studio out of my house yeah man the yeah. earth i hear yeah. it's kind of like running all the time it's just kind of yeah, like you're yeah. Always well, like lately I've, 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 yeah I, I kind of did like a recording binge for two years right and now i'm doing an editing Mixing binge. You that's know, awesome. And, yeah, formulating some albums and you, you're taking it all and putting it out there. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. exactly. That's and awesome. learning the the skills, the mixing skills, as sharpen your drumming skills and yeah. all that. You know. Like so get, is this get really your ears that much like more together? Only break time you have. I mean, you guys, you guys are pretty much you're playing all the time. They're pretty much yeah. just jamming or playing recording all the time, or. But we're it's not just making happened, money but, all the time. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> playing all those the two time, things never go hand in hand, do they? Yeah. Right. Those things never oh, yeah. go hand in hand. I, yeah. Not that I know of, anyway. If you yeah. figure that out, you write it down. I will. You send it out to I everyone. Will. Probably all of the viewers that are watching, for sure. Oh, good. So, yeah. how are you feeling? We, I, I was, I was joking with Ryan. I was like, dude, the faster we go, the cooler it gets. It's like it gets funkier. And <laughs> we should just go <laughs> faster <laughs> and faster and it's faster. Be like 300 BPM by the yeah. end. Yeah. Let's do it. How fast is too fast. I don't know. I always we'll have play to half, find I out. Play half as fast as whatever. You play half time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got all the hard work. <laughs> oh. Charlie Yons. I know. Yeah. Did you guys have a late night last night? No. Anything so PG thirteen can happen? Not, not, not too no. bad. Yeah. Not even G. Not even G. <laughs> yeah. Like just it's just like a. Or just an instruction manual. <laughs> like below G is like an instruction manual for a refrigerator. <laughs> you ironed your pants before bed. Yes. So yeah. I, I have five dollars in cash. I ironed all my dollar bills. So it's ready for tomorrow. It's going to be when I present it to the lady. Uh, with the coffee place, it's going to be... Oh, yeah. I, I, there will be no flies on me, yeah. let me tell you right That's now. You're going to make her day. They'll no longer be able to look askance at me. <laughs> the way that I present myself. <laughs> <laughs> they laughed at me. Yeah. No more. Yeah. I'll show them. <laughs> I'll show them. I probably should get another session rocking and rolling for yeah, you guys. Sand. All right. Want to go faster? Me. I want to go but faster. You, you, we're, you know, you're the dungeon master. Yeah, baby. yeah. Bring it. Dungeon. Bring it. <laughs> Bring it on. Fast. We can do it. One, yeah. One, one, one thirty-eight. Yeah, sure. One of those Dungeons and Dragons tempos. Yeah, yeah, oh that's, yeah, man, that's that's the shit right there. In that world. <laughs> My, yeah, they're my all funk team. beat, my back beat has nine charisma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we yeah. just lost 14 yeah. viewers. I know. <laughs> Love that. So I'm going 138. <laughs> Guys, you can just uh, ditch the mics on the okay. on the um, uh, music stands. Oh, okay, cool. Free a uh, 12-sided die within purchase of the uh, Simon Live, Charlie Hunter.
So do we are we running any like uh, is there any special? Well, there happening? is a special. You know, we yeah, probably uh, should talk we about that. We talk about it in the chat room. Okay. Uh, but the special today is uh, during today's broadcast, which we have another hour. Uh, go to looploft.com and if you purchase anything, put something in your cart, check out, you'll get a free Terrence Higgins Greasy Grooves collection. That one's a pretty good one. It's a good one. We, we recorded it together uh, um, two years ago. Year JT ago. Studios, yeah. JT Studios. Terrence, for those of you who don't know who he is, he's one of the funkiest Unbelievable, dude. In the Unbelievable. Planet. Uh, Dirty Dozen Brass Band, Ani DeFranco. Anybody that needs somebody that's Wong. greasy, dude. Yeah, so, so the check guy. it out. Uh, the offer will be presented to you uh, during checkout. Um, and you'll get it for free for the next hour. So check that out. There's a, He's got tools out. I don't know what to do now. He's actually tuning. This is weird. He's tuning. Drummers don't do that. Do you guys do that? Is that something you know? It's, I don't know. <laughs> it's an unexplained phenomenon. Let's... Oh, I need to, again, change this to 29. Hey, Justin. Yes, sir. Could you bring the drums at, back up to where they were? I sure can. Originally? All right, that's where they were before we pulled them back down. Okay, well. Oh, you want them down or you want them up? Yeah, that's great. Killer. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to send the click y'all's way. All right. I thought I was going to send the click. Let me try that. That feels shuffly to me. All right. Okay, uh, we are rolling now and whenever you guys are ready.
All right, saving and uh, setting up for the next one. Stand by. Um, so maybe not faster. No, I think I think, I think, I think that's limit, yeah, that's probably. Funky. Let's let's Funky. bring it down, dude. Let's let's make it like just grind a little bit. So maybe. we started at eighty five. Let's do something down in the seventies. I like I love the seventies. Seventy seven. Like one ninety now. <laughs> now we're thinking we're gonna go the other way, maybe to seventy seven. Seventy seven. I like that. Dungeon master. <laughs> seventy seven. All right, let's see. Seventy seven. Loop loft template. Go. All right, this is what uh, 77 feels like. All right, and whenever you guys are ready, we are uh, hanging on Kind of a Gadsony kind of thing. Kind of a Gadsony kind of, you know, in between swung funk, 60 okay, note. Yeah, some snaky shit. Cool. Whenever you guys are ready, we are rolling right now.
Nice. So good. <laughs> 80s Grover Washington vibe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that That's so what funny. he talks to the audience. Yeah. <laughs> the audience. Yeah. yeah. Those guys. All right, yeah. so I'm going to set up again for another, and uh, we want to change the vibe. Come in now? Yeah, I like might go shuffle. Dungeon Master. <laughs> what is next? Don't get served, you dungeon You guys uh, have everything you need? You're good to go? Yeah. Hey, I'm Simon, glad you, do you want to tell the people about your drums? Yeah. You, know, you got three snare drums. Yeah, and can you grab the mic over there to your right when you when you kind of talk talk yeah, yeah talk yeah. them through? Hello. 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 <laughs> What's next, Dungeon Master? Please, please tell us about your snare drums. Tell, tell us, us about, about the, the setup. Oh, yes. Kinda, well, kind of unique. Case three. A Latin gig. Yeah, and right. That one is for a funk <laughs> gig, and yeah. that's in case he has a cha-cha gig. Right. <laughs> and since Charlie can play anything, I brought them all. That's huh? it. <laughs> uh, Very few people get hey, the triple Simon, snare drum treatment. Can you do me a favor and sit down? We want to look yes. at you while you okay. talk about this awesome sauce. Yes. Awesome sauce. Yeah. These, uh, let's get this nice and feng shui with the body. Which is how you got to do it. All right. Fantastic. Look, three snare drums, yes. Uh, each one's a 14, one's a 12, and one's a 10. And uh, they just, uh, I think a lot more modern music uses uh, throughout, say, an album, a lot of different snare drum sounds. So why not just uh, have that be your rig so you can have a variation throughout the night? Or the day. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Can they hear me? Uh, yeah, go ahead. You guys, yes. you want to rock a shuffle maybe? Okay, yeah. We need some shuffle in our life. Yeah. Sure. Yes. All right, let me get you guys set up or you're going to get a tempo in here. Yeah. We have a question. Two questions. Two. Yeah. Is that what we want it? <laughs> Somebody says, "Will they take requests?" I'm gonna pretend that, that we, we they requested uh, the shuffle. Yeah. They said tenga. I bet you they would do it. One of five. Not bad. Yeah, pretty good. That feel about right, Simon? That's good. All right, we are rolling whenever you guys are ready to rock and roll.
Heck yeah, fellas. Let's take five. Come on in here. Grab your mics. Okay, so we had some questions come in, and uh, what better appropriate or more appropriate time to do it than right now? Um, so, uh, first question is more of a support question, so I will answer that, but then there's some more uh, Charlie kind of related questions. So, one, one was actually to you, Ryan. When Are you going to be doing a video of editing and chopping these loops? Uh, maybe a short tutorial. Yeah. I don't think you'd want to see all 60 hours. Of, Your nose might start bleeding if you have yeah, to watch that. It's, yeah. You know, it's, it is what it is, but it, um, we'll probably give, give you a glimpse of kind of the process in okay. that, but overall it's not the most exciting thing to watch. Yeah, man, I tell you what, man. It's, it's the hardest part of the job. It's, it's, it's cool. Uh, a lot of the folks that tune into Persona, it's like, come on in, have a seat, right. guys. Okay. A lot of the folks that tune yeah. in are really into that, that you know, backdoor yeah, stuff. Dude. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to slide over here real quick, and we got a question from the folks uh, in Internetsville okay. about what's the deal with your instrument? Can uh, you give us a backstory on it? What's the no deal, deal, man? Every single one is full price. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Do you make it? Oh, no, not in a million years. That would be, no, oh, no, that would no, be no, crazy. No, no. no. Uh, the one I play is, pardon me, <sighs> okay, I'm also tired of listening to you talk. I know, I'm tired right? of listening to you talk. <laughs> yeah. The one I play is made by a guy named Jeff Traugott in okay. Santa Cruz, California. T-R-A-U-G-O-T-T. -T. Okay. Um, and um, this one is seven strings, is pretty much what I play. From low to high, it's tuned G, C, F. Okay. The bass and C, F, B flat, D, the guitar. But an easier way to think of that is as the lower three of a bass in the middle of four of a guitar with a capo on the third fret. Okay. And then you go and they're split for a bass side and a guitar side. Like and as far as the people, uh, mics or the pickups in it and stuff? Yeah. Okay. I mean, a lot of people think, oh, you have a seven string. Oh, you must be playing all that, you know, crazy, lots of notes. Uh, no, the whole idea of this instrument is the exact opposite of that. Right. It's to play less notes Economy. on each side and put them together. So that rhythmically they function like right. a drum set, you know right. what I mean? So right. I can't do what a bass player and a guitar player would do together, which is the good part and the bad part mm -hmm. of it. I think maybe mm -hmm. most of the time it's the good part of it because right. I can't really be that busy. Yeah. And, and play convincingly within a group, you know? Right, I mean? yeah, so yeah. Economical always makes a good it. pocket. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And... And I make so much money with it. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really great <coughs> career path for me. Because <coughs> it takes so much more work uh, just to practicing, just to get up to a level where you're not too embarrassed to play a public. <coughs> and no one's interested in having it in their band. Oh, I don't believe that at all, yeah. dude. I don't yeah. believe that. Guitar players out there. They're like, no. Bass players. No, man. <laughs> But it's it's fun, I, and I do love it. I, lo I, I love it, and, and I mean, I enjoy playing, you know, bass or guitar regularly, but this is really what I love, and I, and I like to spend the time and try to get it better, and that, through the years, I've gotten better at it because I play less and less, you know. Yeah. I play 90% less bullshit now than I did <clears throat> 20 years ago. Right. And hopefully in 10 more years, that'll be right. the same case, but yeah. it doesn't happen. It just... You know, it's just yeah, work. yeah. You just you work. just start yeah. leaving yeah. things out exactly. that are that are not Thank useful. God. You know, like yes. that's that's exactly. how I've been looking at it over the years. Is I've started to play less and and make you know just make the bass drum speak. You know, with mm -hmm. one note instead mm -hmm. of two. You don't you don't have to double up everything. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah or man, triple totally, up. You know, totally. just how can you get one simple thing to speak musically? Right. Yeah, that's the that's the goal. It's, but it is like a yeah. drum set. What you're doing, yeah, you know. Yeah. So so if it's gonna, I mean, a, you know, if there's too many notes, you don't really hear them. I mean, they're yeah, there, but you're not. True. They're not really uh, ringing in the, right. you know, the real frequencies. You know, that so really. It's hit. like your kick and snare, I guess. The higher yeah. strings would be like your snare or cymbals or whatever upper yeah. register. Sure, yeah. I mean, I try to think of the whole thing like now as a ride cymbal beat, you know, and mm -hmm. really listen to the drummer's cymbal, yeah. whatever it may be, mm -hmm. for that to right. understand and make everything kind of fit into that and relate to that, rather than playing opportunistically and being right. like, 
yeah, I could play some really cool guitar lick here. Right, right. And, you know, yeah. the second you do that, it's like, well, that's all there is to that. That's yeah, that. right. And right back to where we yeah. were. Um, so you, exactly. you traveled with this guitar. What happens if somebody takes the guitar... Do you have do you have a backup or well, hopefully can you call somebody it. and say, well, no. yeah, that would be a huge, you know, no, but I've move, always, right? I always carry the guitar with right. me. It's like I don't have roadies or it's just me. So I'm always the guy that has the guitar and I take it on. I don't know if people know this now, but you there's a law. You can take your instrument on an airplane. Mm -hmm. If it fits in the overhead mm -hmm. and you get on and there's room, they have to let you put it in the overhead. It's right. a federal mm -hmm. law now. So oh, right. you don't get the... Huckle, right, Hucklebuck anymore. Where right, you take your guitar and put it on a flight to China or France, right. you know, when you're not going to those places. So, mm -hmm. right. So, um, <clears throat> what kind of time are we looking like right now? Yeah, 15, 14 minutes. I think that's plenty of time okay. to bang some. What are you guys feeling? I mean, you've kind of run the gauntlet of a bunch of different vibe well, in there. We have right more now. gauntlets. <laughs> yeah, Dungeon Master. <laughs> We showed more axes down. We yeah, the, the golden yeah. arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've only reached a beacon in this stage, and now you must continue your journey. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah. Well. I don't know. My strength points are down, but hopefully my charisma <laughs> is up enough. <laughs> play I Lindy. hope this inside joke yeah, is Lindy playing as well yeah, yeah. out there as it is <laughs> right the here in the I control hope, room. I hope this is not uh, influencing anyone to, to give uh, someone a wedgie at any time. <laughs> <laughs> that no, I've had that overwhelming feeling yeah. all day. Yeah, and that would, be, weird. that would be the prescribed That's behavior weird. with <laughs> what we're talking about. Oh, well, yeah. Are you missing anything that you want to make sure that you take home? or You guys want to get like some loose rocky kind of yeah, sure. It's just that sounds sl cool. Sloppy, sludgy, sludgy stuff. Yeah. Cool. Cool. You need a distortion pedal. Name your or... tempo, Dungeon Master. Yeah. Yeah. Not. Although, <laughs> yeah, my instrument unfortunately doesn't work that way. I love playing. I'd love, to, I'd love to play like a guitar through a Marshall stack, just like, but my guitar I'm, unfortunately just doesn't do that. Is it, is it kind of feedback? No, it's issues, just the way it's just... built. It just you can't get to all of that stuff on right. it. Right, you know what I, know. I mean. I would it's love... that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, I love that though. Marshall I know. Stack I know. It yeah. Like a Les Paul. Yeah. Play some well, I think Marshall needs stuff. to make something for you. Yeah. Like a there time you go. machine. <laughs> that's not Marshall. <laughs> like a time machine. I mean, if you're requesting products, that's a pretty oh, good no, one to request. No. <laughs> I need a time machine. Yeah. All right, so some rocky stuff. Sorry, I'm going to... 82 BPM. 82 BPM rock stuff. Sloppy rock. You got it. Save. I'm going to close that guy. And that guy. Yes, save. Actually, just want to go to the start. And... Go ahead and make us a new one here. I'll try not to spell anything wrong. It's grand. Rock. You said, I'm sorry, you said 82? 82. Yeah! That's going to be kind of the groove right there at 82, guys. And we are rolling whenever you're ready.
right, fellas. Thanks. Come in yeah. uh, for. Uh, we're going to sign off on this one. And uh, then we'll maybe get some samples after that, but uh, I'm sure the folks want to hear you say goodbye. That sounds great, guys. That sounds great, guys. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're going to be signing off uh, after the guys get in here. I want them to say bye as well and make this quite a personal thing. Um, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, I know this was two days back-to-back -back of drums, yeah. bass, and guitars, and then you had to look at us, which is terrible. Um, but uh, these will be available very soon. Uh, Ryan probably has a lot of work in front of him to get them chopped down and... Look make a product. Where are we? We're, uh, end of September? Yeah, almost October, yeah. They'll be, they'll be uh, ready for a uh, stocking stuffer. Yeah, season. for Christmas, Christmas yes, Christmas. for so, sure. Yeah. Um, so I don't, wanna, I don't want anyone to forget, we've got uh, another uh, Persona yeah, Slive coming yeah, up man. October 8th. Is that correct? With uh, Nothing More is gonna, was in the studio and they did a, a live recording. They did an acoustic jam with us. We go over a bunch of stuff uh, with the RM. We talk about using plugins live. And this is sponsored by Isotope and Zounds. Uh, and you definitely need to check that. You do not want to miss right. it. Thank you, man. October 8th. Nice. It's a so Thursday, fun, 2 p.m. Oh, it's a blast. And, uh, well, we lost Charlie. Charlie's That's, looking for his mic. He's looking for his mic? Aw. He's going to go grab his mic. And when he gets his mic, then we'll yeah, officially man, sign off and cool. say goodbye. Cool. Right, Great. Um, again, Great. if anybody has any questions that you weren't able to get into the chat room, <laughs> go ahead and make sure you send that in to education at personas.com. Um, and yeah, we'll be sure to get back guys. to you as quick as we can with somewhat Locked. of an intelligent oh, yeah, response. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the first so time we're we done. played. It's a done deal. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get out of the way. Yeah. You guys want to look over at that camera right yes. there. And say goodbye to everyone and thank you bye for bye joining us. Bye, everybody. <laughs> All right. Go back to bye bye, everybody. <laughs> go back to Facebook. Yeah. yeah. Like That's for someone alive. Thank you for joining skin. us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.